a thief and a stockbroker, and their whirlwind romance coming this fall to Casa de Dracula. What's up, bitches? It's Noisy Face. Welcome to episode 13 of Casa de Dracula. It's actually episode 14. <laughs> I just looked it up. Oh, I'm off to a great start. All right, well, you just know it's gonna it's gonna be a great day. Let's just jump right in. You know how when you go, you take your sick cat to the vet clinic and you come back and your toddler's just running around all willy-nilly? Because I sure do. No. Leave me alone, Brittany, bitch. I need to sleep, okay? Oh, is Dracula not happy that Modbot is having another baby? <laughs> Because he sure doesn't look at says he is, but that's not the face that I make when I'm happy. Esther, get your ass in here. It's your birthday. Get in here and some shit. It's time to age up. Figure out what you're going to do with your life. I can't, I can't have Dean fix that refrigerator because he just fixed the Roomba and he might die because it might shock him. Or could I? Or could I? Okay, look, I really want to give her pink hair, because Modbot has pink hair, and no other kid has pink hair. Erratic is super fun. What'd you get? Perfectionist! <laughs> no! Alright, what do we got? Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay. One of twelve. Ten. Okay, so... Love, and then two... Um, one. Okay, so she got serial romantic. <laughs> oh, bro, she's got glasses too. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Hold on, though. Hold on. Okay, are you ready for possibly the cutest sim ever created? I haven't looked at any of her outfits. I'm just, I'm obsessed with her hair. This is CC hair, by the way. Um, she's got this cool hat, glasses. What, what are you wearing for cold weather, girl? I'm about that. I'm about that biker jacket. Um, hot weather. Yeah. Look at that. Look, you can see the up close here of this hair. Um, this is just gorgeous. I love this. She's so very Esther. <laughs> um, swimming. Oh, I gotta do even look at this. This is so cute. Ah, oh, okay. Party. Wow. Girl, you got, <laughs> you got ambition. I'll tell you that much. Uh, sleepy time. I love the bunny slippers. I love the bunny slippers. Uh, sports. I don't know why you're wearing the one glove, but I dig it. <laughs> I dig it. Um, formal wear. Oh, yeah, bitch. That is the coolest skirt. If I saw that skirt at a thrift store, I would contemplate buying that skirt. Um, and then here's her every day. <laughs> Bro, again, I didn't even look at this, and I might just leave her in this outfit when she ages up, because look, how can you get better than this and galoshes? Like, oh my word. I, I love you, Esther. Okay, look, I said I wasn't going to have him go fix things, but I think I am going to have him go do it and just see what happens. We're just going to, we live vicariously now. We've killed enough Sims that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> If your sister walks right through you, well, you're repairing things. I mean, we're just gonna see. We're gonna see if he dies. Meanwhile, Esther's over here like, all that suspense for nothing. You are supposed to die so mom and dad could have another baby. What's in here? Celery, mustard, mushrooms, honey. I mean, that's what I keep in my fridge. That's all I'm seeing. So I'm going through every room in the house right now looking for that cat that I stole. Um, I don't think it lets me keep it in my house, but we did steal it for a few days. It's bad. You never know, um, shit. You never, you never know with cats. So I hear some of you asking, and by some of you I mainly mean my brain. <laughs> if, if you're going to make Casa de Dracula the house for the children, the orphan children, the orphan's children house, the children of the orphans, that house that house then you've forgotten felicia felicia dracula uh because that was bernie's adopted daughter and sadly we have no bernie so here's the thing i will make a felicia dracula but here's my problem i'm already at seven sims in this household 
And <laughs> Mod Bot and Rad Brad have another one on the way. So we're gonna go Felicia Dracula pending. Pending. Um, so I remember to make her in there. We get, uh, got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. Okay, don't worry. I added this cat bush that was missing last time. I also added a wastebasket in here in the kitchen because we need a wastebasket um, to throw trash in. I don't know that went. That's better. Alrighty, so let's get to cooking. Is one of y'all pregnant yet? That's what I want to know. Um, oh yeah, I also decided to, um, keep Caleb's occupation the same because he's a stockbroker and when I went in there to like his cast he was very obsessed with material things and so I was like yeah whatever whatever so I do have to say that the one I'm worried the most about as far as like what are you doing bro <laughs> the kids what are you literally hold on hold on I'm distracted by whatever it is you are doing um so the one that I'm worried about the most um, with kids and, you know, running out of money and having to use the mother load sheet is Esther. Um, and that's because what I decided. So normally, I let, um, you know, the fate of the coin toss decide. But uh, what I decided with that is to, um, this is why I don't let you guys watch what I'm doing in between clips because it's really boring. Anyway, um, so what I decided to do with her is go ahead and, uh, since she's non-committal and she's like, what are you doing? She's like super crazy. Um, she's going to go ahead and have kids with whomever she pleases. Like whomever will <laughs> try for baby with her. But it's all going to be different people for all five kids. This challenge is kind of a, mod a modified challenge of the legacy challenge anyhow. So, you know, that's that's what we're going to do. It's what we're going to do. Yeah, kind of need to see if you're going to have a baby. Oh, I would I would like to complain about this. Um, So when you're setting up who and who cannot have a baby in The Sims, you're only allowed to make one person like the maker of the babies and one person the carrier of the babies. I would like to have them both be able to make and or carry babies. EA, are you listening? There's going to be a baby in this house. Oh my god, is Caleb not a cool enough vampire that he can buy plasma packs? I gotta take his ass out to drink blood right now? God damn it, Caleb. Hey, uh, you don't mind if I, uh, come into your bar at 7.30 in the morning and drink your blood, do you? Do you mind? Cause I'm gonna. You know what, Caleb? Maybe you should learn more about vampires then. If you don't want to feel guilty about drinking blood... Maybe you should learn what you're doing with your life, goddammit. Oh man, I totally forgot that was an option. That you could list things on Plopsy and sell them. So if I'm gonna arbitrarily make Esther, like, do whatever she wants with her bros and have babies and hoes, you know, because Sims don't discriminate, then maybe, like, I really want her to be a paranormal investigator, but maybe, like, whatever next child is born can just sell things on Plopsy. Is their career? You know, normally I lock this door and I don't let my pence run rampant. But I think I'm just I'm just gonna leave it open and we're gonna see what happens. Like Marshmallow's fine. Marshmallow's out here living his best life in the rain. Like he loves it. Look at him. He goes back inside. He's like, no, I don't like it at all. Wait, Rad Brad spread some juicy gossip about Frederick? Like what? What? Well, he's like twelve. What gossip do you have? Have you seen his hair? Oh my god! Oh wait, let me do it again. It's like, have you seen his hair? Oh my god! Y'all, I just realized I forgot to buy beds for these bunk beds. It's gonna have to come out of their funds, so hopefully that doesn't put them too far in the hole. I mean, while we're blowing money willy-nilly and we're buying plasma packs up in this bitch, Caleb's all sad when he's got to drink blood, let's just invest a thousand dollars in stocks. You know, that seems like a great idea. What's my dog doing? Oh, man. <laughs> you are, uh, you're very dirty. 